Oh, this one is very drapey. It does not want to behave itself. Try again. Hey peeps, welcome to another video. Today it's my December fabric haul and sewing plans video. I am going to be on the island for the entirety of December filming Vlogmas with mum and dad. You guys will be seeing mum and dad daily. I know you are all looking forward to that. I am going to be attempting, attempting to get quite a few things sewn for the last part of the year as well. I have decided that I am going to stop sewing on the 20th of December and start filming my lookbook, my year in review, my make nine, how I got on with that, those kinds of videos so that they can go up before Christmas because I'm going to hopefully take a couple of weeks off from the 24th of December. I have no idea if that's actually going to work or not. We shall see! Today it is the things that I'm going to be attempting to sew in December. The first one is Simplicity's 8715, the shoulder dragon pattern. When I was doing my pattern clear out back in September, I came across this pattern and you guys were universally like, yes, let's do a sew along for this. I haven't forgotten, I just haven't had time for it, but I am going to be spending Christmas Eve with Wilson's family. He has two tiny, tiny little nieces. One of them is a huge, huge, huge Frozen fan. So I was thinking I could make one of these little dragons look like a fire salamander. That's the idea. I have lots of turquoise. I have some pink fluff. So when he's on fire, he's kind of got pink fire coming out of him. So I've got some pink fluff that I think will work. Bought the safety eyes. So I'm going to make that one and then the other one i'm going to make green and leafy because this is me and the younger of the two little girls i don't know that she has a favorite of anything yet she's not quite old enough to be sort of like properly having favorites and things i think she's going to be sort of uh 20 months old maybe a little bit older than that so yeah i'm going to make her a leafy one because that will make me happy and i will be doing a sew along for you guys as well because you did ask for that so one with wings one without one with fluff one without and it's going to be interesting and i'm hoping i can get that done in a day wish me luck <laughs> I also have a couple of sew alongs that are going to be due in December. One of them is probably going to be this Peter Pilotto McCall's like designer dupe. I am not sure what fabric I'm going to use for it yet. I have got quite a lot of dark navy bases that are in the Pirate Capital collection so I haven't picked one of them out as yet and I have a feeling that I am also going to add on Big Bishop sleeves to that dress rather than the short sleeves just so that it will be wearable over the next couple of months i think it's going to look really really cute i like that it's cinched in at the waist i like that there's a ruffle on it i like it's that it's high low hem i know dad's going to hate that but i like it i think yeah adding on big bishopy sleeves it's going to make me very very happy so that is probably going to be december so along although it is still up for a vote at the moment on patreon the anime and deer and doe one that is up against may still come back but at the moment i think there's like it's 10 votes in the lead so I think it's going to be that Peter Pilotto dress that I'm going to be trying to recreate and I as I say probably some kind of navy fabric that I have in my stash but not sure which one yet so I'm not showing you the fabric pick as yet. Next we have the McCall's 7659. It's a Laura Ashley pattern. I'm going to be doing view C. This was voted for by the Patreon peeps back in August I think so this is getting slightly overdue. Now I have some, I've got it out but it's quite far far under, at the bottom of the pile. So I've got some of this viscose Maracane in this corally peachy orangey ready coral colour. Coral is probably the best one. I have quite a lot of this left so I am going to make up view C of that pattern in this fabric to make sure that I like it as a wearable muslin so I won't actually be filming that fabric for the sew along because there isn't an obvious right or wrong side to that and I have found in previous sew alongs that without the obvious right or wrong side things can get a little bit confusing for sew alongs so I'm going to make a wearable muslin I'm going to learn my lesson from the 8029 I'm going to make a wearable muslin I am going to see how I like the top if I do like the top I will then pick a fabric from my stash that has a clear right and a clear wrong side probably the savannah viscose shelly probably and I will make that top up as a sew along for you guys and I I, I can't see why I won't like this one. But mind you, I've said that about a lot of patterns in the past, so 
we'll see. But that's that's coming next month as well. Having just shown you that shirt, that is the top half of the Vogue 9345 that I've tried to make into a shirt. And it wasn't quite as successful as I was hoping it was going to be. So I've got the McCaws 8040, which has the princess seams and the length that I like for a shirt. It doesn't have the collar, so I'm hoping I'm going to try and splice on the collar pieces from the 9345 onto this pattern and see how that comes out. And again, with the giant big bishopy sleeves. For that one, I'm going to be using this emerald green viscose voile that I got from the fabric room. It's three pounds per meter, so it's perfect wearable muslin fodder. And as I say, I'm gonna be doing a lot of splicing to that pattern, so I'm not sure that it's gonna work out. So I can get more of this if I fluff it up, but fingers crossed I won't fluff it up because this is really pretty fabric and I have three meters of this which I think I'm going to need all of it because as I have mentioned before the sleeves from the 9345 with the cuffs take at least a, about a meter of fabric they are huge huge but they do look really really cool so I'm hoping that that's going to work from this fabric we shall see <laughs> I'm gonna go by the pile that I have next next to me now so the next fabric I've got is this stretch denim it's got a slight slub texture to it I got this from Doughty's at the knitting and stitching show or the festival of quilts but it wasn't the last one I went to this was three or four years ago I think they still have this in stock if not this colour but I bought two and a half meters of this to make ginger jeans and as I've mentioned quite a few times now I just don't like skinny jeans on me anymore so I am going to attempt the lander trousers or the lander pants with this and I think that if I pull that off these two together are going to look really really cool I have found that because the trousers that I like are quite wide legged I can only get one leg on a folded piece of fabric but I ended up with end up with quite a decent sized strip of fabric next to it that just so happens to be a perfect size for waistcoats so there could very well be a denim green waistcoat coming next month as well so yeah lander pants and a waistcoat with a big bishopy shirt sleeve shirt and giant collar underneath of it hello 70s i am so looking forward to this i think it's going to be amazing on the subject of trousers i have got the linen chambray in the savannah print i am going to be making the mccall's 71 <clears throat> excuse me the mccall's 7131 trousers i made a wearable muslin pair last month in a green viscose fabric. I made the pattern probably about five years ago now and I didn't make the crotch depth deep enough so I lengthened the crotch depth on this one and I've made it slightly too deep so I need to raise that up by half an inch so an inch in total half an inch front and back and I need to shorten the elastics on the waist but I think it's going to look awesome in this linen chambray. It, this is slightly stiffer than that fabric but it still has a lovely drape to it so I think it's going to look really really nice. I also think it's going to work really well with the shirt from this fabric because I am as you can see behind me trying to continue the Savannah collection and also the Pirate Capsule collection overall. I would like to get that finished by the end of this year. That is the goal. We'll see if I manage it because there's a lot of fabrics left. But you, you never know, you never know. But yes, 7131 in the linen chambray. I think they are going to be awesome. Next up, we have some needle cord in old gold. I bought this from Sherwood Fabrics and I ordered Cadbury's purple and this is what turned up. Clearly not Cadbury's or purple, but a beautiful colour. And when I messaged them and just said, I think there's been an error, they were like, ah, oh, whoops, would you like it for half price? Or you can send it back to us. And uh, I kept it, as you can see. So I have three metres of this. I was going to make the Sorrento jacket, but I decided to do the Sorrento jacket in this green denim instead, because I have a pumpkin spice jacket the lupin jacket that i made last year and i just thought that having a jacket in this color which was so similar to that color might be too much i mean too much <laughs> i clearly like this color instead of the jacket i'm going to attempt just throwing it on the floor i'm going to attempt the mccaws 7626 pinafore now i was thinking i was going to do the pinafore dress because I think it would look really cool with like my shirts and this 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 underneath of it but I had put this and stored this in the jumpsuit section because of this one here 
and I really like the idea of attempting the jumpsuit out of this fabric. I think it would look really, really pretty. I appreciate that I am, um, because the next one's coming up, I'm going to be trying to make three pairs, trying to trying to fit three pairs of trousers. I'm going to be making four pairs of trousers, but I know the 7131 fit. I'm going to be attempting to make four pairs of trousers in December, and I don't know if that's too big an ask. We shall see. I mean, it's depending on the size of this as well, because these are fairly fitted and the, I have the smaller size bundle. My hip measurements puts me into the size 20, which I do not have of this and I don't want to buy another pattern. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this fit or fit me the way that I want it to. Nimue also mentioned that the darts on this can end up quite comedic looking. So this might not make it past the muslin stage, but we'll see. But I, I want to do something like that with this needle cord. The other thing that I was thinking is this is lightweight enough that I could perhaps do something like the McCall 6696 but I don't really like the neckline on that so the Vogue 9345 shirt dress to be worn is like a I think the uh, in America they're called jumper dresses so like it's like a you know an all-in-one a pinafore dress if this pattern because I'm gonna make muslins of this if this pattern fails me then the Vogue 9345 sleeveless with the bodice lined which you guys have asked to see so I could do a tutorial on that at the same time which would be great that could work really well because it would still look really nice by itself but it would also grow, go really well over things like this so that's a possibility. I do have the now and then beach pajamas cut out of the viscose chalet Savannah. They're what I would like to wear on Christmas day. So I actually need to get those sewn up. They have been cut out for quite a while now, two cutting out sessions, and they've always been relegated to, to the bottom of the pile because they're definitely a kind of warmer weather type thing or a I'm gonna wear this all day when I'm gonna be in a warm house with heating and blankets and a cat available to sit on me and warm me up so yeah the now and then beach pajamas in the savannah are also going to get made up in december so i can wear them on christmas day it's going to be my christmas day outfit they're adjustable so i can eat as much as i want and i can loosen the ties so that they're comfortable the final fabric i have to show you is the lady mackerel brielle wool i have two cuts of this one is two and a half meters one is 2.2 meters the two and a half I bought my, myself, the 2.2 meters, was my birthday present from James and Big Bird earlier this year. This stuff is absolutely beautiful. It's a wool suiting. I want to make the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers. I traced that pattern out this time last year. I have got to do all the alterations to it, so deepen the crotch length, deepen the zip fly so that I can get them on and on, on and off over my hips, and smooth it out because I traced a size that would fit my hips and then the size that would fit my waist so I need to smooth out the lines between those. Make a, wear, make a muslin before I cut into this wool because this was £16 a metre and I can't get any more of it. I bought the last of it, sorry. So yeah, I, I need to make a muslin of the sorrel trousers then, fingers crossed, I can get them to work. I really want, I really, really want some fly front smart trousers. I really like the 7131 but they are more casual, they are elasticated at the back. I really like my Decades of Style Empire waist trousers, even with the crisis of confidence that the purple ones gave me. I have come around and I do really like how they look, but I would like some that sit, I have a waistband that sit on my natural waist, that fly front, with pockets. Mum's made the Pauline Alice sorrel trousers and they look amazing on her so I would like to give those a go. Now as you, as you can tell I've got just under five meters of this fabric so I am hoping that I can get a waistcoat, perhaps this waistcoat, but probably the 5193 and a skirt out of this fabric. A half circle skirt ideally but that does take a fairly giant amount of fabric so it might end up being something like the Vogue 9345 button up front sh skirt, possibly that one, maybe the skirt from the 6380, I've made a few of those, I do really like how that looks on me. So yeah, I'm hoping to get three garments out of my 4.9 meters of this wool. It is 150 wide, and as long as I am super, super careful, then I should be able to squeeze those out, hopefully, because I can get the trousers and the 
waistcoat out of the same piece because as I mentioned earlier the trouser legs leave just enough room for the waistcoat pattern pieces to go down the side and thinking about it it is going to be the 5193 waistcoat because I have cut out the lining for that waistcoat and I've cut it out of this stripy silk so yeah, I'm going to be doing the 5193 waistcoat out of the Brielle wool as well. So I'm just going to put these fabrics to the side because if that's not enough, bearing in mind I'm going to have 20 days to do this, if that's not enough, I have also pulled out these dress patterns that I have been banging on about wanting to make for ever the vogue 9327 the vogue 9076 and the vogue 9328 i love all of these i think they are absolutely gorgeous i really really want to get them made up and i am going to do my best to squeeze these in at some point over christmas I don't know if it's going to be possible with all the other plans that I've got because there's a lot of plans isn't there but I yeah I'm going to try my darndest because I think they are gorgeous and I have a feeling that once I've made one up there's going to be lots made up out of all of those because just just so so pretty so so pretty I think I think I'm being overly ambitious just a touch I think I might be being ever so slightly overly ambitious it's fine it's fine i mean the, the the important things are the shoulder dragons there's going to be a zip up hoodie for wilson in there as well i didn't mention that because he sometimes watches these videos so i'm not going to show you it but it's not going to be overly exciting because it's going to be gray because like all of his wardrobe so there's that that i need to get done as well haha <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, I think I may have bitten off way more than I can chew, but those last three dresses are going to be like add-on extra projects once I've got all the other things that I've mentioned done, because yeah, I, I don't need sleep. Who needs sleep? No one needs sleep. I'm going to have two weeks off in January. I can sleep then. It'll be fine, because <laughs> I'm going to be filming Vlogmas at the same time and doing sew alongs and editing. Yeah, it'll be totally fine. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> who am i kidding wish me luck wish me luck let me know in the comment section down below which one you are looking forward to seeing most i'd be really interested to see which one you think should be put to the top of the list hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give it a thumbs up if you haven't please subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye